Welcome back. This is episode 25 of the Provenance Marketing Show. I'm your host, Ryan Jennings, and we've got some products to talk about. But before I go into that, I'll give you a little bit of an update on what we've been doing in the last week. We've just come back from Christchurch filming for the Making It New Zealand series. Uh, we visited first a company called Tuki Design, and they make some products for people that have a little bit of trouble getting around. They require a wheelchair or require um, some help in the home uh, because of either an accident, maybe with horses or a car accident or something where there's been a spinal injury. And they look at the design aesthetic. There's a, a guy there who, his name is Will, and he looks after the design part. He's uh, trained from Victoria University and has done some amazing things at evolving what is a functional product into something that is more comfortable, more lightweight, uh, and easier to travel with to give freedom back to people that require a wheelchair or shower commodes or any of the things that become part of life once you're not able to walk. The next one we visited was Morton Jewelry. They provide uh, greenstone or punamu, they're carvers, and their carvers are on the west coast of New Zealand. Uh, they also have carving that happens in Christchurch. And uh, they actually gave me a little toki uh, design here, which means strength. And Sue, who's one of the uh, workers there, she does actually all the lashings. and. We're gonna go into a bit more detail uh, on how those lashings are made on the show, uh, but really cool story. One thing that I will drop in is they actually provide all of the Punamu to the All Blacks. So while the Rugby Cup World Cup is on at the moment, any of those All Blacks that you see wearing Punamu it has come from Morton Jewelry. Right, now onto the products. First up, Tumeki, Lamb Lung, Veal Ribs, and beef oxtail as well as a number of others and what i like about tumeki friend is the name of the company is why they've called it tumeki uh, tumeki is the moldy phrase that you say when a friend does something that's awesome so when your cat or your dog your pet does something awesome you should say to it tumeki and give them a treat a tumeki treat What's different about these products, so these are premium dog treats, the ingredients come from New Zealand, the key ingredients. So you know that when you're feeding your little dog, whatever doggo's name is, these veal ribs, that the veal comes from New Zealand. They're sourcing these from farms down in the lower South Island, in Hawke's Bay, in the Waikato, and they talk about that provenance on their website. They're also available at most of the Animate stores around New Zealand. So we're going to be giving these away. Next up, it's coming up New Zealand Made Day, 21st of November. So not far away now. We're about, what is it, Hugo? About six weeks away from New Zealand Made Day. This is the first New Zealand shopping day for New Zealand made products. We've put it into the hardware journal to let all the hardware manufacturers know that on this day, you can expect deals from New Zealand manufacturers. So go to this website or go to nzmadeday.nz and you'll be able to participate if you're a business or you can see some of the deals that are going to be coming up on that day. Uh, pretty good timing if you want to do some of your shopping early for the end of the year. And at supermarkets, you'll start to see these supermarket shelving labels which just takes it that extra step. So instead of having to pick up the product, turn it around, see if it's got New Zealand made on it or not, you'll be able to see from a distance whether this product category is New Zealand made. Next up on the show, we've got Go Global coming up. This is a seminar, uh, a full day seminar based in Auckland uh, at the Pullman Hotel where all of the exporters in New Zealand that want to learn a little bit more about how to improve their game from those who have been there and done it uh, will be at that uh, seminar. And you can join our table. We have a New Zealand made table uh, for businesses to be part of this. Uh, up your game and also learn from your peers. We've got some individual pricing on that, so if you want to message me, the best is at my email. Uh, New Zealand does really rely on our exports, so it's great that 
uh, Export New Zealand and Catherine Beard is putting this on. Last up is a product that's not here because it's a software product. Uh, this software product is called AMS and they provide cloud-based services in a particular niche, well two in particular. Uh, one is life insurance. So for companies like Sovereign Life Insurance who have 650,000 customers, they provide all of the cloud services behind it so that when you buy life insurance, Sovereign knows who you are, what you're insured for, how long you have been a insurance client, whether you've made any claims, all of that technical stuff, uh, they keep track of it on behalf of Sovereign. So not an easy thing to do. And a lot of what they do is in the cloud. And best of all, it is a New Zealand company who is developing the software here. And maybe that doesn't matter for every single business. You know, you've heard there are businesses that say they're global from day one, but there is a place for New Zealand software vendors. And that's where uh, there are rules or things that you want to make sure that your your employees get paid. We've seen the scandals when employees don't get paid from government departments. And it's really important when that happens to consider who is your software vendor. Uh, so AMS is a company to look at and they're very well trusted within government departments. Uh, the DHBs around New Zealand, many of them use AMS for their services, for their employee management. In fact, over 50,000 people are paid through AMS's employee management solutions through the Auckland DHB, the Waitamata DHB, Hawke's Bay DHB. If you're in government and you want to buy a solution where you know that it's designed for New Zealand conditions and regulations, then probably worth talking to AMS in the first instance. Uh, so that was an interesting one that I came across. They're a relatively new license holder uh, and we're keen to see more software companies uh, join New Zealand Made. Uh, even though there's no physical product, they can still put that uh, New Zealand Made onto their website. If this is the first time you're watching this, thank you for watching. Subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com by NZ Made. That just helps things you know, helps the wheels of progress and helps the algorithm find what we do. If you're listening on the podcast and you haven't subscribed, look for Providence Marketing Show on whatever iTunes or Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, Deezer. We're on all of those different platforms and uh, look forward to seeing you as part of our audience on the show next week. Thanks for watching and listening.